Hundreds of commuters were among the first to travel on a newly unveiled light railway in Nigeria's capital Abuja this week. The passengers were permitted to ride the light rail system which connects the international airport with other parts of the city. The first phase, which took 11 years to construct, also covers 12 stations, 21 operational offices, 13 bridges, 50 culverts and 9 pedestrian overpasses. President Muhammad Buhari officially opened the light rail system last week. Construction, no hold up. You know, so it's a very perfect arrangement. And I think this will impact positively on the economy. Uh, if you want to go by road, it's usually a very long distance and it's quite expensive. But um, with this train now, it makes life easier. You can catch your flight. Uh going by the train. Nigeria has the largest economy in West Africa, but growth in the continent's top oil producer has for decades been stunned by poor transport infrastructure. The construction of the light rail and its use is expected to open new towns and boost economic activities. Now, directly, we are looking at employing at least 1,000 people directly. Now, indirectly, you are looking at over 20,000 people. Buhari's government has been looking for partners to overhaul its aging railway system. The country's rail lines were mainly built by British colonial rulers decades ago. The government plans to revamp about 3,500 kilometers of existing narrow gauge lines.